students welcome back to my class i hope you all are doing great taking care of your health so in this class we are going to start our new lesson of the 8th class okay so what is the name of our lesson is earth movement and its seasons so how the seasons are going to take place what are its reasons causes and how the movement of the earth is going to happen all we are going to learn in this lesson so without any further delay let's get started to our lesson so let's take out the lesson which is earth movement and its seasons so the first part that we are going to learn about is changing of the seasons so the first one is changing seasons so why the seasons are changing what are the reasons so everybody knows that how the seasons plays a important role in our life if the seasons are changing we have to wear clothes as per the seasons we have to eat our food as per the seasons so everybody knows this that seasons plays a important role in human beings in animals and plants to life it plays a huge important role for the human beings animals and plants also we have to wear as per the seasons what season is we are facing we have to wear that types of clothes we have to eat as per the season so seasons are very essential in our life human beings live along with a large community of plants and animals so human beings with a large community of plants and animals we can observe constant change in our surroundings as i said that seasons change a important role in our life so changing of the seasons we can feel it so it is a constant observation in our surroundings where we are living we can feel the changing of the temperature what the seasons is definitely everybody can assume it and observe it yes in the course of the year so in a year we are having three seasons so what are these three seasons everybody knows this that are rainy and winter and summer here the flowering and fruiting of trees and plants change in the animal activity etc as i said just now that changing in the seasons throughout the year it's a change in the process of the animal activity animal activity goes also changes due to the changes in the season so there are some kinds of fruits which will develop in different different kind of seasons and that to vegetables also so that activity also get changes as per the season get changes fruits activity will change the plant grow how the plants will grow that also those activities and their process will also get changed why this all is happening as i said because of the changing seasons so let's move further you would notice that trees drop leaves stand bare you would notice that trees drop leaves stand bare stand bare means standing exposed if the trees loses this leaves what will be they're having only they're having their stems so that is stand bare without any leaves new shoots come leaves grow again and again and gives fruit so we have seen this that the trees will sometimes will drop the leaves and sometimes the tree will be bare exposed that it may not having the fruits or leaves on the stem and again the new leaves will start growing and gives uh, flowers and uh, fruits you have seen this and you have noticed this so all why this is happening this is happening because of the changing of the seasons you have noticed that different times of the year we get different different kinds of vegetables fruits in some months it is very hot and in some places it is cold or wet yes we have known that in a year as i said that the temperature are different we are having three kind of seasons so as per the seasons the fruits and vegetables will take its place different fruits will grow in different different seasons we cannot get each fruit throughout the year why because every fruit and vegetable has its own value so it will grow in those regions or in those temperatures only so let us see what are the fruits and vegetables that will grow as per the seasons that we will able to find in those particular seasons only so let's see the examples so we are talking about the seasons students so definitely i am going to explain you about the seasons and the fruits and vegetables which are going to grow in india only okay so 
in india so let's talk about the first winter season okay so in winter what are the fruits and vegetables that we can find is we can able to find red carrots yes red carrots will be available only in winter season and what else peas peas means matter that we will call in hindi matter that only we will get in winter season only throughout the year we cannot get those vegetable and what else there is guava yes yes guava is found in winter seasons only it is a seasonal fruit so these are the fruits that we can and vegetables that you can find in winter season yes so as per the seasons we have to carry ourselves so children so whatever the seasons we are facing we have to wear that types of clothes we had to eat that seasonal fruit or vegetable then only we will be feeling so much of healthy our life will be healthy and will be more energetic so as per the seasons we have to maintain our diet and consume those fruits and vegetables in your reg regular foods then only it will be a great what else what you can say impact on your body if you eat seasonal fruits in that season only it will give you a very healthy impact in your body so let's move on to the next season is summer season let's see what are the fruits and vegetables that we can get in summer season so the second is in summer what you will get for fruit definitely mangoes everybody knows this that mangoes are grown in summer only and what else cucumber yes cucumber is a summer vegetable yes definitely we will eat cucumbers a lot in summer why because it is having a lot of water content that keeps our body hydrated that is why we feel so much cooling effect in summer if we are eating cucumber it is having a lot of water contents that it is essential to eat the cucumber throughout the year in your diet as in lunch or in dinner and what else you can get in summer lychee yes lychee is found in summer and what else melons so these are the fruits that you will get in summer and blackberries so let's move to the last season is the monsoon season what you will get in the monsoon in monsoon or in rainy season you can say so in monsoon what you will get custard apple yes custard apple is also a seasonal fruit that you will only get in the rainy season and what else jamun yes you can now get the jamun in the market as it is the monsoon is going to start in our region and what else chiku yes chiku is very good in monsoon or in winters why because it has a heating potency heating potency means it is hot in potency that is why it is to be eaten in winter or in monsoon season chiku is not going to eat in summer why because it has a heating effect that is why it is better if you consume the this fruit in winter so children students as you have known that in winters we all will love to eat spicy food dry fruits why because the season is winter and rainy and is telling us and giving the reason to eat those fruits and dry fruits which is beneficial for our health so that is why the dry fruits are not going to eat it in summer and the summer fruits and vegetables are not going to eat in winter or monsoon reason why because if we eat then the body will react in a negative way and will get simple simple and small small diseases like cough croning headache and what else you will get nose running itching in the throat why all this happening why because we are eating wrong wrong things in the wrong wrong seasons so we have to know this knowledge what to eat how to eat and when to eat as per the seasons so the seasons plays an important role in human beings life as i said so if you eat a proper food in a proper season it will be definitely beneficial to your health as i said that these are the three seasons and these are the things which will be available as per the seasons and what else fenugreek 
is also available in winter. In some places you do not get fenugreek bunches throughout the year why because it is available only in winter seasons. So, if you eat the things which are properly available and grown in the seasons that will be very much tasty that will be the fruits will be very much sweet as because that is completely grown as per the season. So, the seasonal fruits are very much tasty healthy and beneficial for our body also. So, let us move for further what is saying how the seasons will get changed due to the temperatures or else the different reasons. So, let us see how the seasons are going to affect the temperature and the human beings plants and animals too. In a picture 3.1 as you can see in your reader students there is a picture figure number 3.1 a tree in USA in four seasons ok. So, the picture is titled as a, a tree in USA Lanchester in four season. In first picture you can see that the tree and its surroundings are covered by the snow. So, in the first picture you can see that the tree and its surrounding is covered by the snow a kind of a soft ice are covered by the snow with a soft ice. So, as we have seen the first picture it is covered with the snow and the snow is a type of a soft ice. In the third picture you can see the same tree sprouting leaves there is no snow. So, what is happening in the third picture that the trees are sprouting leaves and there is no snow. In the second picture the same tree has fully grown leaves. So, in the second picture tree has fully grown leaves. In the last picture ripe and red leaves are falling from the same tree. So, you can see the tree and observe the changing the tree due to the seasons. So, in the last picture ripe and red leaves are falling from the same tree. So, why these changes are happened? Yes, absolutely right due to the different different seasons. So, all these four things are happening to the one tree all this is happened due to the different different seasons in a country. We may have seen by flooded by water. So, we may have seen it flooded by water during rain, but not snow. So, we do not see snow in our country. So, nobody have seen snow in our India. So, we have seen the flooded by the water during rains. Some parts of the earth get so cool in some months and they so, some parts of the earth get so cold during that some months and they get snowfall instead. In Ohio, so Ohio is a state in USA. So, Ohio is a state in USA it snows heavily in the northern countries during winter in summer months it is not cold, but still the weather is pleasant. So, what is happening here? So, it snows so heavily in the northern countries during winter. In summer months also the weather is almost cold only, but if we are facing that the summers in our country how much the weather it could be the temperature is going to be very much hot. But in the USA what it is saying in summer also the weather is much cooler than the other countries or other states. So, in winter obviously the snow is going to fall in the USA, but in the summer also the season is almost a pleasant and a cold and still much cooler than our state. Yes, our state is completely different that in summers we will feel so much of hot and in winter we will having cold only. So, the funny part is that in those countries the day is much longer in summer so much that you can see the sun even at midnight. So, what is the funny part here if the temperature is cooler than other countries then the day is also very much long in the summers and you can see the sun even at the midnight also the sun will be able to see till long long time. So, that is why sun at midnight. So, there are some countries where the summer days are very much long and you can see the sun even in the midnight. So, what are those countries that could be USA, Canada, Russia, Norway. 
So, why these countries are having sun at midnight? Why? Because the sun is visible at lower height, visible at lower height that is why the sun's rays could not reach to those countries properly. That is why the sun rays are vertically, this is also a one major reason. So, the reasons are these that is why the countries are very much cooler in winter they will get snowfall and in summer also it is much cold than the other countries. So, why because this happening because of the sun rays are not getting properly on those countries it is visible in the lower heights. So, that is why the sun is able to see in the midnight. So, you can see so there are some countries where there is sun is still available in the midnight. So, what are those countries that it could be Norway, Iceland, Russia. So, these are the countries Canada where you can see the sun till midnight. So, Australia. So, the next topic is Australia, South Africa and child on the globe. So, these are called the countries of the southern continents. So, north and the south. So, which are the countries which we can see on the south part, southern part are the Australia, South Africa and the child. So, these continents that are located to the south of the equator as I said that these countries will lie on the south of the equator, north, south. In these countries, the cycle of the season is completely different. They have winters when we have summers and they have summers when we have winters. So, in fact, this is the pattern of all the places to the south of the equator. So, if we are having summers, the southern countries of the equator will be having winters. So, this is the pattern in all the places of the south of the equator. So, as we have discussed that the seasons play a very important role. Why? Because the temperature will be recorded, different different temperatures will be recorded in different different countries of on the earth. Yes, as we have discussed in the last lesson also how the temperature is recorded due to the changes of the temperature the season is completely different in the north part and in the south part of the equator. You are not the only ones with such questions for thousands of years human beings have been curious eager to know about these matters over the time have worked out the answers. Let us try to understand why seasons change. So, you must be having so many questions, do not get confused yourself like uh, so many questions will be rising in your mind why the seasons will change, why the temperature is different in north part and in south part in India if you are having summers, why in uh, foreign countries like Canada and USA why they are having winters or snowfall today or in this month. You must be having so many questions why the seasons change, why the temperature change in different different countries, why the some parts of the earth are warm and some parts are cold. So, these are all happening opposite to each other northern and the southern part of the earth. So, there must be certain factors which take place how the seasons will change, how the temperature is completely different in different different locations. There are certain factors that we have to discuss, then only we will know our answer, we will get our answers why the seasons change, how the earth rotates, how the temperature will be different in different different locations. So, certain factors are there. So, the factors which affect the seasons that is why this all the process is going to take place. So, certain factors are there to understand these thing why the seasons are changed. First, we have to understand those four factors which are going to discuss in next class. So, till then we have to understand how the seasons change in different different countries which I have discussed in this class. In the next class, we are going to learn and discuss about the what are the factors, why these seasons are getting changed, why the temperature is warm in one country and cold in another country, certain reasons are there, what is the communication between these factors are there. We have to first understand those things, then only we will understand how the seasons will take place in one year. So, we will back with these four chapters with four factors in the next class till then take care of yourselves revise these topics which we have discussed in today's class don't get confused yourself thank you